Now I would like to show you how to set the coordinate system relative to a standard feature of an object. For example, one of its corners defined by two straight edges. In these earlier vision assistant steps, I have found the right side edge and the bottom edge. And then I'm using caliper to find the location of the intersection of these two lines. Let's zoom in so we can see that a bit better. So my last step here is to find the intersection of those two. Now I want to define that specific intersection as the basis for my coordinate system. I go through the exercise here of creating a specific name, a little bit more specific, calling this set coordinate system. And then I look through the list of available features in the image, and this is feature number five. And so I want to use this as the basis for my origin. Now it places the coordinate system as you see right here. It has the origin placed right there at the corner. Now you have different options about how you want the coordinate system to uh, follow the object around, and I'll show you what I mean by this. I have different rotated versions of this object, also some different translations as well. So for example, if we look at this version, we see the coordinate system is still lined up according to kind of the image rows and columns. If I wanted to actually follow the object itself, then I need to allow for angular uh, rotation as well. Now you see it following the object no matter the orientation of the object. And this is typically what you want to do so that all subsequent measurements or regions of interest can all be defined on the object itself.